Greetings and salutations from College Park, Georgia. My name is Shakira Bryant, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to start and maintain a National Art Honor Society chapter at your local high school. So skipping a few slides out of my presentation, I am originally from St. Petersburg, Georgia, but I moved to um, Georgia to go to SCAD Atlanta. I graduated with a BA in illustration. I went to North Carolina Central to get my art education degree. And lastly, I rounded that whole education off with receiving my master's in art education at the University of Florida. I teach a half a dozen art courses from intro all the way to AP2 design. Um, I've been at Banneker for the past five years, been a sponsor there for three, and I've been teaching art um, holistically for the past 10. So how do I start a National Art Society chapter? The first thing you need to do is you need to check out the website link below, and that is found on the National Art Education Association website. And it has a specific link for um, to start a National Art Society chapter. So there you get to read about creating bylaws and about how much dues are and when all of the deadlines are. So again, start there to begin with. And then think about these things that you want to ask your administration, okay? Is there a stipend? If there is, cool, because they won't give it to you if you don't ask, right? Is there a budget for after school activities? And then for me, the most important one was, will I have access to transportation for our students after school? Now, BC, which was before COVID, there was a sweet bus that used to come to Banneker High School to kind of be a catch all for students who were participating in like FBLA and all that kind of stuff but now because of covid we don't have a sweet bus anymore so i had to take that in consideration when i do meetings so that the students can have a way to go home whether that be called grandma um auntie to come pick them up and then also make sure that my meetings don't last too long so that it's still daylight you know what i'm saying um also some important tips in order to impress your administration for supporting your after school um, club and extracurricular activity have tangible physical data. So what you need to do is you need to create a Microsoft form or a Google form for um, administration to see the students who are actually interested and then go ahead and recruit a co-sponsor. For me, I have the lovely Mesquite, who is my um, colleague next door. She teaches graphic design and drawing and painting. And we just really have this dope synergy. And if you already have an anime club at your school, go ahead and join, have them come in and convince that um, um, sponsor that their kids would benefit from National Honor Society because they'll get a cord. And who doesn't want a cord at graduation, you know, to get decked out in the regalia and all that good stuff. Fundraising. Fundraising is very important. I say your um, chapter will live or die based on fundraising. And for me, I had to make sure that I uh, fundraise really heavily in the beginning so that I had enough um, money in the pot to um, run successfully run so just know that you need to have one a major fundraising event um, at least once a semester and then also just keep in mind your demographic of your school for me it was a, it's, it's going to be a very hard ask to keep asking my parents to do a popcorn fundraiser to do you know um, a candy bar I have awesome faculty and staff here at Banneker High School, and they love collecting student work, um, especially generated artwork, little magnets to go on their smart boards. So because I know when they get paid, ha, you know, I can always uh, maximize on that. So the most um, famous one that we did that was very successful was we actually piggybacked off of what was already going on during homecoming that particular year and that was HBCU homecomings where you got the African-American like divine nine sororities and fraternities and then also historically black colleges um so the teachers were really psyched about it so I had my national art and society chapter members helped me prepare canvases for the sip and paint and it was a major like to do. And we also invited the Banneker High School Band to play a little something. So again, to build the positive culture at the school, um, show togetherness and check off all those little boxes on your teaks. Amen. So just think about that when it comes to fundraising. It can be all encompassing, right?
I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit more and show you some of the other previous ones I've did in um, previous years. So the most important thing you also, you need help, right? How do I engage my community member partners? And what they can offer you is to help pay for field trips like um, the admission cost to maybe going to the Carlos Museum of Art or the High Museum, or even fund a bus because bus costs a lot of money. Even going on MARTA, like if you have like a whole bunch of students, every little bit helps. So I reached out to one of my classmates from SCAD. He's a local photographer here in Atlanta, Georgia. And because the demographic of my school is Hispanic and African-American, it was very important for me to show a, a living, breathing artist who lives in the community that they do, who was successful because we have this, we have to fight as art educators, this terrible narrative that you'll go broke, you won't make any money in this field. So it's very important, again, through National Art, Art Honor Society, I was able to bring this artist in to talk to my students so that they could understand that there is, you know, a way to do it and be successful. Also, um, Facebook Atlanta chapter, which I didn't even know about, they contacted me, you know how they do. Um, they wanted to reach out and sponsor a black history art show for my students. And that was really dope because again, they pay for everything. And on top of that, the students got to have tangible money. So each artwork that they created, they got paid $50. And again, that brings home to the parents and to the students that what you make matters and it is great and it is awesome. And again, that was something that they were able to receive in real time, okay, legit. I'm just gonna now show you some highlights from our chapter. Even though we are small in number, we are big at heart. And these are some amazing students. Again, this was prior to COVID, so this is a, uh, some pictures of us going to Georgia State University because again, that piece, I wanted them to make sure that even though Ms. Bryan got a degree from SCAD, Ms. Bryan is still paying off that suit debt, right? And you can go to Georgia State, you can go to Kennesaw State, you can even go to Valdosta State and have a great comprehensive art education, right? Without going broke. Um, you need to also go to the National Art Society conferences and there's also like National Art Honor Society juried art exhibitions that your students can then um, be able to showcase their work in. So National Art Honor Society doesn't have any uh, cons, if you ask me. Um, again, they got to um, experience SCAD and these are um, some images of our officers. We actually had two co-presidents, one male and one female because we just couldn't decide, like it just wasn't fair. So again, you run your National Art Society chapter how you want to, okay? It is your world. I also like to do printmaking tutorials because even though I teach everything under the sun, I don't have enough time to actually have a devoted printmaking course at Banneker High School. So I then use that time after school during National Art Society to have the kids experiment with different media that they can't get during the school day. Here is some exhibitions that the students were able to do at Banneker High School. Again, some field trips, Carlos Museum, and then they were able to see Virgil Abloh, which they were real key. You see all these kids or whatever. I didn't even think we had that many members of National Honor Society, but when I sent out that permission slip, like it was like every Tom, Dick, and Harry wanting to come. So as you can see, Virgil Abloh is amazing. He's a great African-American um, fashion designer. So again, that tie-in, that buy-in that the students will be able to see somebody who is successful making art that looks like them, right? Um, some pivots that I had to make since the pandemic is now I've started to utilize Microsoft Teams more and I actually do a live virtual meetings in tandem with the in-person meetings so that kids who don't have transportation can still get the information that they need to have in real time. Like while they're on the bus, they can just connect on their cell phones using Microsoft Teams. And this is what the platform looks like. Um, there you see the National Art and Society um, uh, link right there. And then here is what it looks like in the channel or in the team. Again, I post meeting messages. I posted the video link so that they kind of know where to see it. And they are in tandem, so the kids who I don't see, the kids I do see, they still have the same information. Um, any questions or concerns, 
If you are in the Fulton County school system, you can just pull up on me here in College Park at Banneker High School, or you can check me out during um, these social media platforms. You can hit me up via um, Instagram, or if you have my personal cell phone number, you can holler at your girl as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed my uh, TED talk about National Art Society. Um, Hopefully you'll enjoy it and um, I'll see you soon in the near future. Bye.